Take two. David didn't get my feet in the first video. And I did dance to the Cupid Shuffle as your warm up. I don't feel like dancing again. I'm tired from doing legs. So maybe I can get that clip to you. But anyway, you're gonna do legs. You gotta keep an eye on my feet. It's important. I'll show you some of the exercises. Not all of them, but some alternatives. Goblet squat, curtsy lunge. It's a double thing. So goblet, curtsy, goblet, curtsy. That equals one. If you have one heavy dumbbell, use that. If you have two lighter dumbbells, I'm not even gonna grab them. Goblet, curtsy, goblet, curtsy. Keep the dumbbells between your legs, okay? Otherwise, it's a regular lunge. So if you don't have two moderate or one heavy, you can use a kettlebell. You can have a bar on your back. You can put a band on your leg. As long as you've got this movement, up, down, tipping back, down, tipping back. Some of you might just want to do a lot of reps with just a band, and I'm fine with that. Next one is um, deadlifts. Too heavy, it's bent knee. Uh, it's Romanian deadlift. That means you bend your knees. If David gets me from the side, bend down towards the shin, look up, and bring him back on the side. So bend up, bring them back. If you don't have too heavy, you can do it with a kettlebell. You can actually take a plate and if you want to really, because legs are a pretty heavy exercise, so you know we did the best we could getting everyone weights. But you can take a plate for the deadlifts. You can't do this with the curtsy because you can't really curtsy with this, but just add more weight. So the, just, you're weighting down your glutes. So anything, you can take a tire if that's heavy and put something in it or a dumbbell in the tire. As long as you've got good balance, bent knee and up. And then we have the uh, split lunge, two dumbbells on either side. One heavy if that's an option. Some of you have really heavy dumbbells or just one. So you just do one. If you have two, you hold two. If you have a kettlebell, you hold one. And you're going to alternate your reps on one side, then on the other, then complete it. And the other one is a Bulgarian lunge. They're not, this isn't the exact order it's written in. But again, weighted, unweighted, band, bar, kettlebell. As long as you have one foot up and elevated, that's an option. You can either do the ground ones, or you can elevate, and if you have extra energy, do them both, or do half and half. And then the last one of the legs is a single dumbbell side lunge. And remember, keep your feet aligned, sit down, bring it back. The alternate hand, don't alternate left and right, stay on one side. So again, one heavy, or two doubles, or one kettlebell, or a plate, you can hold the plate here, or a bar or a band. So that's the side lunges. Then we have the accessory and abs, and it's gonna be a glute bridge. It's basically any hard surface and elevated surface that you wanna put your feet on and bend, and hands are on the ground. You wanna make it harder. You can keep your hands up, but you're gonna probably have, I'd like you to try it with weight first. Some sort of weight, a plate, a dumbbell, a bar, a tire, Lifting your glutes, squeezing at the top, and dropping to release. Lifting your glutes, squeezing at the top, and dropping. And after all the sets, this, you won't need much. You can also play around with single leg work. So you can have a riser, you can have it on the tire. You could just place your foot on a med ball and do some really strong core work. I'll show you, because a lot of you do have these. And the, you might not think there's anything to do with these but abs, but that's not true. I've done these before with people, they're really hard. You can put it against something so it doesn't roll. Goal is that it's not that it's not rolling, but you have the elevated surface. I would not recommend that you do this with weight. I mean, I don't really care if you can. I mean, 
you just might get hurt. I don't want anyone calling me saying they're getting hurt. You have to make good choices. So you can just do it like that. If you want to keep the ball from moving, you'll get a lot out of that. And then there's an ad routine and a playlist. And that's 80 points. <gasps> it's exhausting to do that video twice. And you also, your bonus is just get outside and do something. I don't care if it's clean your garage. I don't care if it's running. If you're not comfortable going outside, then just do some more activity inside. But, and also try and get all your bonus rounds. And then I'd like you to send me a text with all your points by the end of Sunday so we can see how everyone did and have a leaderboard. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.